again. So let us see. Face is along the z direction. That means its nose must be in the z direction. That's this one. So it's this particular deal. That face. And then we go and we say, okay, force is in the r direction. r direction is this way. So the force is like that. And that is sigma z r. So let me ask you a following question. Is that normal stress or is that shear stress? What do you think? Pause, try your answer and I'll tell you. Did you pause and try? You remember, you cannot learn, you cannot learn this by watching an exercise video. You have, if you want to build muscles, you have to do the exercise, okay? So I keep telling you this because I want you to remember, it doesn't matter if you're wrong. It's only when you try it many, many times that you figure out how to do it right. In this particular case, notice that the direction of the face and the force is 90 degrees. So this is shear. Let's try something else. Sigma theta z. Try it out. You try it? Good. So I'll show you what I got. So, face is theta, that means its nose has to be pointing in the theta direction. It's not this guy because its nose is pointing in the r direction. It's not this guy, its nose is pointing in the z dire direction. Can you see it's this guy? Its nose is pointing in the theta direction. That's the theta direction, right? And then, The force direction is Z. So which way is it going? Z. Ta-da! That's sigma theta Z. So let me ask you the following question. Is that normal stress or shear stress? You know how to answer that? Good. So. It's 90 degrees, so it's shear stress. Let's try another one. Sigma theta theta. What do you think that will be? Answer. That's that place. That's it's going to be here. Can you see? Is it normal stress or shear stress? Is it obvious to you that it's normal stress? Because the force is pointing along the same direction as the nose. So if it's like pulling your nose, that's normal. Okay, so let's try something else. Sigma or theta. Draw me and tell me. Now I'm going to go quite fast, that is sigma or theta. You can figure it out. Try sigma theta z. Oh, we already tried that, sigma theta r, sorry. So, theta r, it's going like that. See what I mean? How about sigma minus theta r? What will that look like? It's on this face, that that one, can you see that? It's that face, the minus theta face, and then it's in the R direction, it looks like that, that is sigma minus theta comma R. That's the notation. Got it? Usually in the book, normal stresses, It's given by sigma shear stress tau. But we now have a very clean, clear notation, okay? We will use both of them depending upon which one is convenient. Got that, right? Very good. 
So our next step is the form. So suppose I go back to my original setup. Here's a bar. And I apply some forces to it. So F equal to 2 kilo newtons. Okay. And it so happens that this is actually a glued bar. You know what a glued bar is? I take two pieces of bar and glue it. And I can glue it in different ways. So this is a badly glued bar. I've made it out of several pieces. So first piece is like this. So there is the, there's the glue. I have taken one piece and attached it to the other. Second piece is going to be like this. That's the second. And the third one is going to be 90 degrees like that. Look at that, it's three pieces, okay? And let's pick some dimensions. So let us say uh, this is 30 mm. Now let's make it 40 mm. And let's say this is 10 mm. That's 40 mm, that's 10 mm, okay? So now we come to the question and we are really interested in figuring out will these glue, glued pieces break or these glued pieces if we'll worry about the criteria for safety that's a separate thing we just have to figure out how much stress so our question is analysis This is actually load analysis, internal load analysis. We need to find stress on face, on glued face. Let us make it clear. So, a, B, C. Let's look at A. So I'm going to draw a free body diagram of A. So I'm going to take a cut like this and draw a free body diagram of A. And that's easy to do, right? Looks like this. 2 kilonewtons. So the force on this face, the face normal is like that. The force on that, F equal to 2 kilonewtons. Area equal to 40 times 10, 400 millimeter squared. So, stress. So, now you have to decide whether the stress is normal or shear, right? And it's, is it obvious to you that the force is parallel to the nose? So, this will give me normal stress. In our usual notation, it's called sigma. In our modern notation, it will be called sigma xx because this is in the normal direction. In the x direction, that's the y direction. Okay, so this one equals 2000 divided by 400, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5. So that is 5 megapascals. How about sigma xy? Is there any force in the y direction? No. So, on this phase, I'll get zero. Now let's look at the next one. How about on phase B? So I'm going to draw the phase B carefully. So it's going to look like that. Cut. And just to make things nice, let us say this angle is 30 degrees for now. Okay. We'll worry about the angles a little bit later. So. And then the first thing we need to do is we always worry about the normal N. And 
normal makes an angle 60 degrees. Can you see that? Now in this case, the force is still 2 kN. According to, according to our equilibrium conditions, equilibrium will tell us F equal to 2000 Newtons in the X direction. Okay, and geometry will tell us the, the normal vector which is a unit vector looks like cos 60 degrees in the i direction plus sin 60 degrees in the j direction. Can you see that? This is nx, this is 